Hey everybody, so today we're doing this super simple avalanche effect with 3ds Max and Phoenix FD. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I've been making a lot of tutorials and I'll be making a lot more, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any of the future content. So in Max, I'm working in units, meters, and one unit is one meter. So you can see how big the grid is compared to the mountain range, so you can make your scene about the same size. If you would like to get this exact model of the mountain, you, you can just go to Turbo Squid and type in mountain, and then you can sort the results by lowest price, and there's this free mountain model here, which is exactly what I use. So this was my original setup, but I'm just going to set it up again on the side here for you guys, so you can see exactly what I did. So let's just create a box like this and then we want to align the box to the edge of the mountain so something like this and then maybe we can set it to local and scale it up so it's a little bigger so this will be where the avalanche smoke or snow will be coming out of let's hit f4 to see the etched faces and give it a few width segments so maybe seven and then make it an editable poly and just select the verts and you can move it to sort of align it to the mountain edge better. So what you should end up with is something like this where the edge of the box is kind of following the mountain. This doesn't have to be perfect in any way. If you need to create an extra edge, you can just select the edges and hit connect and then you'll have another edge to work with like this. All right, so from the top view, you should have something like this. And now we just need to go under polygon and select these polygons on the edge and set it to ID, let's say 10, and then hit Control I to invert the selection and set this to some other number, so maybe seven. So now you would just go under Helpers, Phoenix, Phoenix Source, create a source, and let's add this box as our source, and let's set the polygon ID to 10. So this way the smoke will only be coming out of the polygons that we selected. And you can disable the temperature and set the outgoing velocity to 175 meters. So at this point you would just create the simulation grid just like I did here. So you would go under create, Phoenix, fire and smoke sim and just drag out a sim box. And then you can click on align and align the box to your emitter here just to help you put it in place and then I would just rotate it and set it to local and sort of put it in place where the snow will be rolling down so something like this it's okay if it goes through the mountain we just need this entire area to be covered and then you would go under grid set adaptive grid to smoke and this way, if the snow happens to reach the edge, then the grid will automatically expand. So this is the basic setup. I'm just gonna delete this and switch back to my original grid here, just so I can show you the settings. So for my total cells, I did about 9 million total cells, so nothing too crazy. And honestly, you could do this with much more resolution. You know, you can just set this pretty high, maybe 50 million cells and just let it sim overnight and you'll get some beautiful detail. Under dynamics, the most important parameter is buoyancy, set it to minus five or lower. And this will essentially make the smoke heavy and make it roll down the mountain and even follow the contour of the shape, which is pretty awesome. You can see how when it reaches the edge here, it kind of splits. And here under massive vorticity, just set large scale to one, which is the largest value. The conservation method, let's pick PCG symmetric. You can increase the quality to about 50 or even higher if you would like, which again will just give you more detail. And steps per frame can stay at one, but you can do two again to get some nicer interaction. And then under output, select where you would like to simulate the cache into and check velocity if you would like motion blur and let me simulate a few frames just to make sure that everything's working all right so i simulated a few frames and everything is looking good now one of the challenges of this is trying to get the smoke to be pure white as snow would be so if you go under rendering volumetric options under smoke color you can make this pure white or almost pure white and then under smoke opacity, you can play with the opacity as well to get some different effects. And then 
you can play with this external scatter multiplier and own light scatter multiplier which will affect how much the light penetrates the smoke so if I increase this external scatter you can see that more light is getting into the smoke and making it look brighter now this looks good right now in the preview but if I render it it will be blown out so you just have to go back and forth and play with these values until you get it to look as good as you can. I'm just using a regular V-Ray light to illuminate the scene. And then under rendering environment, I'm using the V-Ray exposure control, which helps with reducing the areas that are getting blown out. And for my V-Ray sun settings, you can just pause the video and look at my settings here. So basically the best way to do this would be to render out the smoke or the snow separately and the mountain separately and then composite it together just so you have full control over the color of the smoke. I rendered it together and then I just basically created a mask in After Effects so I can show you that. So basically this was my raw render and rather than focusing on the color I was just focusing on the brightness value so nothing is too blown out in here although the smoke is a little gray. So then I just created an adjustment layer uh, with a reduced saturation which basically makes the smoke white and then you can increase the lightness here to make it brighter to make it look more like snow and I just animated this mask in After Effects to follow the snow um, to retain its color over time so this is a little bit of a cheap trick but it works for what I was trying to do for the sake of this tutorial and then for my render settings, you guys can download the project file. The link is in the description, so you can just look at exactly what I did. But you basically, I'm just doing bucket, two subdiffs, and a thousand subdiffs for the light cache. It is noisy, but I was trying to get the preview out. You know, you could increase the settings much more if you were doing this for a final shot. But I just wanted to show you the technique of having the heavy smoke roll down a mountain. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.